This quick screen cam is going to show you how to change one component, probably this bias component up here, to adjust this circuit so that we get the exact output. Our design goal in this case is to have the output at this point, this node, or this voltage here that you can see me highlighting, to be 5 volts. As you can see, the parameters that have been selected mean that it's not quite exactly where it should be. What's the meaning of that? This transistor is turned on to 642 millivolts. It's turned on a little bit too much. If it were turned on just a little bit less and pulling less base current, this potential would go up and the collector current, which is noted here, would go down. So what I'm going to do is I need to change this component into a parametric component and then vary it so that we can effectively change the way this circuit will perform. The main thing we need to do now is to add onto the schematic diagram a new component. It's called PARAM. P-A-R-A-M. It's a parameter block. It's just this text. We're now going to open up the parameter block and we need to add a new column and we're going to give it a value. Let's call it Rx. And I'm going to give it the value 130k, which is the value of that component. I'm now going to highlight that, di uh, display, uh, name and value. Click OK and close the window. Well now see so we've got a parameter called Rx 130k. We want to change this component here to have this this parameter value. Curly brackets, Rx, curly brackets. OK. Hit save. As you can see, this component, R2, doesn't actually have a value like all other resistors do. It has this variable. The variable will be substituted in when we do a simulation. What we're now going to do is we're going to vary this Rx component, say, from 110k uh, to 140k, or something along those lines, and see how the output voltage or the output current varies with it. So I want a new simulation. I'm going to call it DC sweep. Or I'll call it um, sweep. It doesn't really matter what we name it. That's uh, irrelevant. I'm performing this time, not a bias point, but a DC sweep. We're not sweeping a voltage source, we're sweeping a global parameter. The name was Rx. We're going to sweep linearly. We could sweep logarithmically. We're going to go linear. Start value. Let's go 120k, which is 10k down from our design. And we'll go up to 140k. And we'll choose to go up in 100 ohm steps. I'm going to click apply and OK. We've now got a new simulation setting. What we need to do now, we also need to know what our voltages are at the output. We're looking to achieve 5 volts here, varying this component. So we've got a two-dimensional plot. Let's click Run PSPICE. Our PSPICE window is now running. As you can see down the bottom here, our simulation is actually running. And it's finished. We've now got this curve presented to us. This curve goes through 5 volts, which is exactly what we're looking for. I'm going to add a trace and move across to find 5 volts. As you can see, I'm quite close here. need to get a little bit closer. There we are. Almost bang on 5 volts, and it tells me 132K is the value that I should be choosing for this, for this uh, circuit. So that's the simulation actually finished now. I'm going to go back to my schematic. I'm going to change this to 132K. Click OK. Go back to a bias point. Click Apply and OK. Run the simulator. So I'm now running the simulation again, but this time I'm looking, instead of uh, for a DC value, I'm only going to get a single uh, bias point optimization. So I go back to my AllCAD schematic, and as soon as it pops up, we see that we're now 4.998 volts. 
so we're only 2 millivolts away from target specification. That's the end of this screen cam. There's been a great deal here. You've effectively managed to optimise one component through your knowledge to get 